we all try to eat healthy whatever it is we really like a little bit of flavor in it so i thought of sharing a very nice and fruity uh, healthy tea cake with you all for this recipe i'm using 250 grams dates and about 150 grams diced prunes and 150 grams figs 150 grams apricots dried apricots and about 50 grams mulberries and zest of one orange and the juice of that orange instead of these fruits you can use any other kind of a dried fruit that you have in your cupboard or even you can use use one fruit or two or even a mixed fruit so then i have 150 gra uh, milliliters of um, dark tea that i made with ceylon tea and this is how it looks like so make um, as strong as you can or the flavor that you like to add in actually so let's start into a mixing bowl add all the fruit that you already prepared mulberries and the dried prunes and then the apricots and the figs if you want to do a small one you can always have uh, this recipe so add the lemon zest and the hot tea next add the juice of the orange and leave it overnight uh, mix it well and cover it with the cling wrap and leave it overnight to soak this is the fruit I soaked last night and this is how it looks like after and going to use 100 grams melted butter 30 grams teff flour or teff seeds you can use about 50 grams chia seeds 50 grams flax meal 200 grams brown sugar you can totally omit sugar from this recipe or increase the amount of sugar and 450 grams self-raising flour you can use wholemeal flour instead or you can add any other kind of flour that you like to add but you have to reduce that uh, amount of that uh, from this and add that flour and add uh, some baking powder to this too so three eggs so let's start into a mixing bowl add the eggs and the sugar and mix well reduce the speed and add the butter sometimes you might ask why you are adding butter when you say healthy add olive oil if you don't like to add any butter we need a bit of oil in baking always so after that add the chia seeds flax meal and the teff meal or the teff seeds I will do some uh, recipes with teff and chia seeds to introduce new healthy recipes and next add the flour always you can uh, use different kinds of flour in this recipe too so don't worry about uh, this becoming dry at once but when you add the fruit mix it will be alright so I am adding the prepared fruit mix into that and mix well so this is the prepared mix you can do hand mixing too but my hands are too tired to do that on a Saturday so I am using this loaf pan and you can use any kind of a pan to do that spray it or put some baking paper and put the mix in it so I put the mix into the tray and I bake it on 150 about one and a half hours and um, this is how it looks like um, I'm sorry that I couldn't show you the other clip because the uh, camera battery went flat and um, so after I took it out from the oven always insert the skewer through and see whether it's already um, ready and put it onto a wire rack to cool down and after this is how it looks like if you don't want to do a bigger one like this you can always have this recipe or um, this 
always you can slice it and put it individual bags and then you can freeze it for a long time so whenever you feel like something nicer um, you can take them out and throw it in the microwave or even outside and this is how it looks like it's a really moist nice fruity cake hope you will enjoy this thank you for watching